Times 3, Electric Dreams, 11th of March 2021, featuring artwork by Daniel Elms, Declan Leslie and Gary Turner, and audio descriptive poetry by Sally Hurst. Times Free is a series of collaborative group exhibitions showcasing the work of artists from Action Space in London, Projectability in Glasgow and Venture Arts in Manchester. The free organisation support artists with learning disabilities and create creative opportunities for them to exhibit their work. Electric Dreams is the first exhibition of the Times Free project and is designed and co-curated by Venture Arts artists Daniel Alms and Sally Hurst. It is inspired by the inner world of the dreamscapes and features the work of Daniel Alms, Declan Leslie and Gary Turner. And making audio descriptions and art in itself, each work is described with a poem specially written by Sally Hurst. The theme of dreams brings together visions of long but natural beauty in the photography of Daniel Elms, whilst the visionary cartoon world of manga art inspires the surreal work of Gary Turner and horror and the grotesque run-through, the sometimes nightmarish work of Declan Leslie. Gary Turner. Gary is an experienced multidisciplined artist who works with projectability. He works in printmaking, mask making, ceramics, drawing and painting and uses his knowledge of love of contemporary comic and zine culture, fantasy, sci-fi and animals from the natural world to inspire his work. His paintings often have a romantic feel to them. Sally Hurst Sally Hurst is a talented illustrator, textile artist, ceramicist and writer. Her work is inspired by the themes of climate change and by her love of animals. She began making art at the age of 13 and has been at Venture Art since 2017. She has had several commissions taken part in artist residencies at home, Manchester and Walk the Plank. Declan Leslie. Declan Leslie's practice is all about visual storytelling. He works across a range of media and creates fluid drawings in which he explores various themes. He researches a subject matter and works through all the variations he can get from it. Declan's work is often populated by figures who particularly like scenarios that represent the more dark aspects of human behaviour. These can include horror and the grotesque in which he adds a twist of humour. Daniel Alms Daniel has been making art for as long as he can remember. He enjoys using pencil, drawing pens and canvas, as well as taking photographs with his phone and Polaroid camera. He draws maps and scapes and takes photos of things he thinks will look good and architecture and different texture inspires his work. Art makes Daniel feel good and relaxed. My Brother by Daniel Elms Little boy with blue coat wrapped round his waist He is wearing a white long sleeve t-shirt he is running like he is in a race, on a long endless path of light brown dirt, has a head of brownish blonde curly hair. He's wearing a pair of grey knee length socks, trees on both sides of path leading nowhere. The path made up of little tiny rocks, one wooden beige pole sticking out of grass. 
small pile of green leaves on the long path, a little light bouncing off the young lass, who runs with excitement on the footpath, can just about see the sky through the trees, lighting feels cool like there's a gentle breeze. The Neighbour's Bench by Daniel Elms Across the top and bottom beige and brown It kinda looks like big chunks of tree bark Ombre of many light blue dots around As ombre fades it suddenly goes dark A sudden bit of many dark blue dots Views flashes of dark brown over the blue The top left corner lay a big dark spot Looks like some of the blue got scratched right through Revealing a layer of brown and beige A small round dark patch towards the top right The blue goes from a calm to a stormy rage Like ocean waves going at many heights Many different shades of brown and beige marks as some are light and others are quite dark. The Cobbled Street by Daniel Elms A cobbled path leading us to nowhere A black, white and grey coloured piece of art Big dark trees all around like a nightmare the path is so much lighter in some parts. Very creepy dark shadows on the floor. Tiny bits and bobs between each couple. This photo was clearly taken outdoors. View feels low down like a worm that wobbles. A long stripe of cloud across the grey sky. Trees hiding the clouds. How long could it be? could have been made by a plane that can fly the dark tree is blending with other trees so could be five trees or maybe lots more it's very hard to be completely sure skyscraper by daniel elms clouds in the blue sky tall rectangular building Grey, blue, black and white. Silver Birch by Daniel Elms The tree trunk is beige with bits of dark brown Light going through the gaps in every leaf Lots of green leaves of many shades around Pure beauty as I look in disbelief you can see bits of blue sky through the gaps with hints of big fluffy white clouds floating. You notice rings on the tree trunk it wraps. Bumps and growths on the tree is worth noting. The leaves are a mixture of light and dark. Each branch changes direction as it grows. The long tree trunk has lots of little marks. View is looking up at the tree it shows. It really feels like you are really there as I look up at the tree and glare. Budlia by Daniel Elms Flowers, there's so many Little light bouncing off Purple with little orange reds Beauty Lily pad by Daniel Elms. Lily pad, bushy plant near, only black, white, and grey. Raindrops of different sizes, water. Untitled by Declan Leslie. Creature made up of tiny straight lines. There are plenty of long wiggly lines too. Mouth is wide open like about to whine. Colours used are black, white and shades of blue. Holding jumbled up letters in one hand. The mixed letters are slightly hovering. On the back of body is short hair strands. 
creature has many details covering. It has a very long, thin sausage nose with two very small pairs of beady eyes. Everywhere except faces in blue clothes. Little curly hair showing long in size. The face overall looks so very cross with scribbly lines in this mouth all across. Untitled by Declan Leslie Stripey like a zebra It's also black and white Man climbing on top with a book Long arm Untitled by Declan Leslie Use of grey, orange, red, brown, yellow, blue A big flying dinosaur type creature Eye catching colourful picture he drew Another strange being with odd features A red shirt, sunglasses and blood from mouth Nine small blue clouds together in the air Boat floating on water towards the south Happy at first, look closer for a scare A grey DNA shaped cloud fairly low A long neck monster popping out of the sea A big head eating others in a row Lots of the characters flying so free. One looks much like a massive dragonfly. If I was there, would worry that I'll die. Untitled by Declan Leslie. Blue shades, black line drawings. There's four different creatures. Many different unique features. Scary. Untitled by Declan Leslie. The background in this artwork is plain white. The centre is a grey and white creature. It wears a straight jacket tied up so tight. A sad grey frown is one of its features. Two big round grey cheeks on its circle face. A big and black round nose in the middle, tired with bags under the eyes, disgrace. The eye on the right is a small scribble, tiny beady eyes looking straight at me. Bushy eyebrows above its beady eyes. Its big head of grey hair is wild and free. The air towards the left is oversized, with long black earrings dangling off each ear. The desert has many shades of grey used here. Untitled by Declan Leslie. Mysterious writing on all three sides. The colours used are black and lots of blues. Some creatures cannot be identified. A big exploding firework. What a view! A secret magic potion, so fizzy, what looks like a pile of books on the ground, could fall on house getting me in a tizzy, the wonky pile could knock the house right down, a little bush next to the tiny home, some sort of cam lid above the small home, I am wondering where the cam lids will roam. The bush next to the home is in the shape of a dome, a large rectangle shape, like a smartphone. Behind is a large creature, so big boned. Untitled by Declan Leslie. Blue shades, slouchy creature, mixture of crab or snail. Five arms showing, could be lots more, black lines. Untitled by Declan Leslie. Blue, pink, elephant ears, but could be something else. Shaking with a banging headache, loud noise. Untitled by Declan Leslie. Long arms, lots of dashes, mainly brown in colour, holding snake or Chinese dragon, grey-green.
Ruriad Light, Gaelic, Scotland, by Gary Turner. The white lighthouse is very far away. Most of it is a dark grey stormy sea. All the colours used were black, white or grey. Right of lighthouse lay few buildings of three. Left of lighthouse was one building alone. The sky is gloomy white with one grey cloud. In the sea lay some very big grey stones. Looks quiet with nature sounds and no crowds. The land next to the sea is slightly raised. Even though the sea looks grey and scary, I can only see very gentle waves. If I was here, I'd be very rary. As no barrier between sea and land, washed away, if not careful where I stand. Kippo and the Age of the Wonder Beasts by Gary Turner The top left lay a pink and purple tree. The tree is pink with purple on the end. Many shades on the tree, way more than three. White clouds and dark blue sky, the colours blend. Big purple mountains rest in the background, with green grass of many shades lower down. A massive bird's nest sitting on the ground. A boy reads a book on the nest that's brown. Next to him is a large bird who is white. His book's red and he wears green and black clothes. The shades are a mixture of dark and light. Calm and peaceful place this art clearly shows. The boy's hair is black with slightly tanned skin. He crouches down for his book to begin. On the Way Home From Work by Gary Turner Twilight sky, purple, blue, pink and yellow Big grey moon high up in this twilight sky Sitting on top of the steps is a fellow Grey hoodie, purple shorts worn by the guy On both sides of the boy lay two lamp posts There's so many stars in the twilight sky I counted about 30 stars at most Long brown swells with bits of grey up so high. Lush green grass of many shades on the ground. The boy has black hair and shoes with grey socks. On green grass, different shades of green shapes so round. White dots on grass reminds me of small rocks. The watercolour slightly mix and blend. New things I spot the longer time I spend. On the Way to the Beach by Gary Turner Bright blue, purple, orange, black, grey and green There's a girl standing on the orange ground All alone with no one else to be seen Wearing a white dress and a golden crown She has long black hair with few bits of brown Wears white shoes and standing on a brown spot Vivid purple hills just above the ground, the watercolours created a few blots. A grey mass in the sky with black around. Inside grey mass are few splashes of blue. Two long green stripes on the bright orange ground. Hair and dress flowing in the wind at blue. Place of beauty, what more could she have had? Getting completely lost is not so bad. Sleeping Cat by Gary Turner Sleeping Cat in centre Dark green ombre on the edge The cat's made from shapes Ocelot by Gary Turner Light blue line drawing Type of cat called Ocelot Climbing on a tree Calpies by Gary Turner Two horses' heads in the sea One looks up and one looks down All black and white shades <laughs>